Well, good morning, CUS kids. We are happy to be worshiping with you this morning. Um, please join us and, whether, and get up off your couch, stand up on your feet, get ready to worship the Lord. Uh, we are excited to be in his house, and we are just so thankful that we have the ability to worship all throughout uh, the state of Kentucky. So, Lord, we just ask that you be with us this morning. Uh, we ask that your presence would be made known to us in a special way. Lord, we ask that you would help us to engage in worship with you and that we would seek your face, Lord. We are so thankful for everything that you've done, everything that you are doing, and everything that you will continue to do. And so, Lord, we just thank you in advance for the many blessings that we will receive. And we just want to give this time to you. We want to fix our eyes and fix our minds on you during this time of worship. So, Lord, help us to do that. Lord, we love you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name. Everybody said? We're going to sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. Sing it out and do the hand motions. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us.
sent your own, one and only son to die on a cross for our sins. The love that paid the penalty for debt forever. Lord, we love you so much and we owe everything we have to you and everything that we are. So let our lives be an offering, a worship offering to you. Love you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Can you give Mr. Clay, Jameson, and Miss Faith a big round of applause? We're so glad you're here. I'm Miss Lauren, and I um, just want to welcome you again and thank you for joining us on our online worship with COS Kids. 
as you may know, it is a new month. It is April. And here at CUS Kids, we like to learn a new verse each month. And as we're approaching Easter and Jesus' resurrection, we wanted to focus on who Jesus is. And so when Jesus was on earth, you might already know that Jesus was God's son. And when he was on earth, he was mocked. He was insulted. He, um, they were, he was not treated well. He was actually even arrested on his last days wrongly. He had did nothing wrong. And so um, but Paul reminds us in the book of Philippians, which is the, verse, the verses we're going to focus on, that God exalted him to the highest place. Do you know where the highest place is? It's heaven. So let's take a look at our verses. It says, read it with us. It says, therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And that's in Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. So we're going to sing it here in just a second. But before we do, when it says that he exalted him, that means he raised him up. And in the book of Hebrews, it talks about that Jesus died for the sacrifice for our sins, but then that God exalted him and put him at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. In the Bible, when it talks about being on the right side, that means it's a place of honor and blessing. So Jesus went from being crucified and mocked and beaten to then being resurrected three days later and exalted with God the Father in heaven, where he watches over us and protects us today. So I want you to enjoy this new verse song. There will be hand motions for you to do, so try your best as you're learning it and singing the words. The whole family get up and sing together. All right, let's take a look.
We lift your name up high. Jesus, you're our hero. You raise the dead to life. Hey! Amen. I hope you enjoy that verse song. It's okay if you didn't get all the hand motions yet. We'll continue to practice that this, this month. But I want you to remember that who Jesus is and that God exalted him in heaven and that he's watching over us each and every day. I also wanted to invite you this Sunday Today, we are having our family Seder meal online. It is on our Facebook page, the Family Ministries page, and we will be doing it together. So we'll have a Facebook Live event. We'd love for you to join us. It's at 5 p.m. today. The guides are on the website, or you can look at them. They're also in your email. And so you can walk through the Seder meal with us as a family. Um, you can also watch us and take a look and see that you could do it on another night this week. But we'd love to have you join us. So as we're leaving today, we are going to pray. And um, I just want to encourage you and remind that COS Kids loves you. And we miss getting to see your faces, but we're so glad you get to join us like this. So let's pray together. You can stretch out your hands. You can close your eyes. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you and praise you for who you are and the many ways that you take care of us. God, and we praise you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross and that you resurrected him three days later and exalted him to heaven with you. So thank you for this time to truly focus on who Jesus is. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. I can't wait to see you tonight. I hope you have a great day.